Interchange 1, Unit 9, Part 2 Page 61, Exercise 7 Snapshot, Exercise 7, Snapshot In the public eye What do you see here? Three different styles Fashion Clothes 1. Button down shirt Button down shirt This is button Button T soft D Button Button down shirt Belt Belt Dress shoes Formal shoes Dress shoes Formal shoes Slacks Slacks White pants White pants White White trousers Loose trousers this is style. Someone wearing glasses, button down t shirt, belt, slacks, formal shoes, or dress shoes. This is classic, classic style. Second one, what's he wearing? Sweater, sweater, British jumper, jumper or jumper, sweater, jacket, cargo pants. Cargo pants, pants, trousers, big trousers, white trousers with big pockets, white trousers with big pockets, tennis shoes, tennis shoes. What's the style? What's the style? Cool and casual, casual, not formal. 3. Look at her. What's she wearing? T-shirt? Purse? Play skirt? Strip tights? This style is what? Funky. Funky, very modern style. So she's wearing T-shirt, purse, plaid skirt, plaid, plaid. You have different colors and like small squares, play. Strip tights, stripped, stripped. Funky, very modern. Which clothing, which clothing items do you wear almost every day? So every day, what do you like to wear? I like to wear t-shirt, Cargo pants, tennis shoes. What are three more things you like to wear? I like to wear suit. Suit means jacket, shirt, and pants. What's your style? Is it classic, cool and casual, funky? I like to wear casual. I like to wear casual clothes, t-shirt, shorts, cap, sandals, slippers, tennis shoes. Another person. I like to wear classic. Classic. I like to wear a suit, formal shoes, suit, jacket, shirt, pants, belt. Tie and glasses. Look at the picture. This is exercise number eight. Exercise eight. Exercise eight. Look at the picture. What do you see? This is conversation. What do you see in this picture? Hmm. Different people. What are they doing now? They're dancing. They're dancing. British dancing. They're dancing. They are dancing. Americans, they're dancing. They're drinking. They're drinking. They're talking. 
they're talking, they're laughing, laughing, they're having fun. What's this? It's a party, a party. And here, this is in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening, or at night. This party is at night. Yeah. Because it's dark, maybe it's 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock. It's too late. Yeah, and you say it's too late, 10 or 11 o'clock. Which one is she? Listen and practice. So let's start to listen to the conversation. Page 61, exercise 8, conversation. Which one is she? Part A, listen and practice. Hi, Raul. Good to see you. Where's Maggie? Oh, she couldn't make it. She went to a concert with Alex. Oh, well, why don't you go and talk to Julia? She doesn't know anyone here. Julia? Which one is she? Is she the woman wearing glasses over there? No, she's the tall one in jeans. She's standing near the window. Oh, I'd like to meet her. Listen and practice here. Let's read this. Hi, Raul. Good to see you. Good to see you. It means nice to meet you. Good to see you. Nice to meet you. Or nice to meet you. Where is Maggie? She couldn't make it. She couldn't make it. She didn't come. She wasn't able to come. She wasn't able to come. She went to concert. Concert? A musical party. Concert? A musical party. British concert. With Alex. Alex? Name of a person. Person, someone. Oh, well, why don't you go and talk to Julia? She doesn't know anyone here. Julia? Which one is she? Which one is Julia? Is she the woman wearing glasses over there? Is Julia the woman wearing glasses over there? This is Julia? No. She's the tall one in jeans. She's standing near the window. So, Julia wearing jeans and she's standing near the window. This is Julia. She's wearing jeans and she's standing near the window, next to the window. Oh, I'd like to meet her. I'd like to, I want to, I'd like to, I'd love to, I want to, I wanna, I wanna meet her. I can say meet her or make H silent and make the D soft D meet her. So I'd like to meet her, to meet her. Who are talking? Les and Raul. Where is Maggie? Maggie? She couldn't make it. She wasn't able to come. She went to a concert with Alex. Which one is Julia? Is Julia the woman wearing glasses? No, she's not. Julia is the tall woman wearing jeans and standing next to the window. Where is Julia standing? She's standing next to the window. Number B. Listen to the rest of the conversation. Can you label Joe, Michiko, Rosa and John? Here in this picture, you listen and then you write the name of every person. Which one is Michiko? Which one is Rosa? Who is John? Which one is Joe? Listen and then you write the name of the person. Sixty one. Exercise eight. Part B. Listen to the rest of the conversation. Can you label Joe, Michiko, Rosa and John in the picture? Let's see. Who else is here? Do you know Joe? He's really nice. No, I don't. 
Which one is he? He's over there. He's the one wearing white pants and... And a yellow polo shirt? That's right. And then there's Michiko Sasaki. She works with me at the office. Oh? Which one is Michiko? Oh, she's the very pretty woman in black pants and a green sweater. She's wearing glasses. Oh, I see her. She's the one talking to Joe, right? Uh-huh. And who are those two people dancing? Oh, that's my best friend. Her name is Rosa. She's really nice. Yeah, and she's very attractive in that purple dress. Uh-huh. And she's dancing with John DuPont, her new boyfriend. John is Rosa's boyfriend? Yeah. Sorry, Raul. Say, didn't you want to meet Julia? Uh, I'm sorry, but which one is Julia again? Joe, who is Joe? Joe, this is Mr. Joe. What's he wearing? Joe is wearing white pants and yellow shirt. This is Mr. Joe. Mexico, which one is Mexico? This is Mexico. Mexico is talking to Joe. Mexico is wearing black pants, green sweater, glasses. Mexico is talking to Joe. She's working at the office with Liz. Who's Rosa? Rosa? This is Rosa. She's dancing. She's wearing purple dress. What color is the dress? Purple. And this is of course John. John and Rosa are dancing. British dancing, American dancing. Who is John? John is Rose's boyfriend. He's wearing glasses, jeans, and a shirt. John is dancing with Rosa. Grammar focus. Modifiers with parsables and prepositions. Let's start to listen. Page 62. Exercise 9. Grammar focus. Modifiers with participles and prepositions. Who's Raul? Participles. He's the man wearing a green shirt. Which one is Raul? He's the one talking to Liz. Who's Liz? Prepositions. She's the woman with short black hair. Which one is Julia? She's the tall one in jeans. Who are the Smiths? They're the people next to the window. Which ones are the Smiths? They're the ones on the couch. Hey guys, and welcome back to My English Brain. Today, we are talking about describing people with modifiers. Alright, let's get started. Describing people with modifiers. So, when we ask the question, we want to know specifically about a person that we are looking at, we can say, who's Carlos? Or, which one is Carlos? This is a question to ask about the description of the person. So, we can use this description with our modifiers. For example, he's the one, he's the man, or he's the guy. These are singular modifiers for a man. So we say he's the one and then we describe him. Now we can do this with a preposition. For example, he's the one in a black shirt or he's the man on the bench. We can also do this with a gerund or a verb to describe 
his action. What is he doing? For example, he's the guy playing the guitar. When we describe the action that the person is doing, we have to, we need to use the gerund or the continuous form of the verb in the ing. For example, playing. Very good. Now, when we want to talk about a girl, for example, Lisa, we ask the question, who's Lisa? Or, which one is Lisa? Then we use the single modifier for girls. For example, she's the one, she's the woman, or she's the girl. These are the singular modifiers for a girl. We can then use a preposition to describe her. For example, she's the one with the blue shirt, or she's the woman next to Carlos. We can also use the gerund again to describe what she is doing. So for example, she's the girl reading next to Carlos. Very good. Now, when we talk about more than one person, for example, the Vitalis are two people. So we use the plural form of the question, who are the Vitalis? Or, which ones are the Vitalis? Notice the modifier is plural, ones. Now, when we describe the person, we use their and the plural modifier. For example, they're the ones or they're the people. These are the modifiers for when we're talking about more than one person, the plural modifier. Then we can use a preposition to describe them. For example, they're the ones in black pants, or they're the people with gray shirts. We can also describe the action that they are doing in this moment, and we can say they're the people walking with their dog. Very good. Okay guys, now it's time to practice. A. Rewrite these statements using modifiers with participles or prepositions. Let's answer the questions. 1. Clark is a tall guy. He's wearing a button down shirt and cargo pants. Clark is a tall guy wearing wearing a button down shirt and cargo pants so in this sentence delete he is remove he is delete remove erase he is and then use verb plus ing to make the two sentences one number two adam and louise are the good looking couple but they're talking to tom Use modifier here, here, I'm gonna what? A verb plus ing, and we omit, we remove, we delete, there, they are. The answer, number two, Adam and Louise are the good looking couple talking to Tom, talking to Tom. Again. Adam and Louise are the good-looking couple talking to Tom. 3. Lynn. Lynn is a young girl. She's in a striped t-shirt and blue jeans. One sentence. Hmm. Answer it. Lynn is a young girl in a striped t-shirt and blue jeans. We remove she is, delete, she is, omit, she is. Again, Lynn is a young girl in a striped t-shirt and blue jeans. So here we use N, a preposition. 4. Jessica is the attractive woman. She's sitting to the left of Anthony. Jessica is the attractive woman sitting to the left of Anthony. Erase, she is, delete, she is, omit, she is. Jessica is the attractive woman sitting to the left of Anthony. 5. AJ is a serious looking boy. 
He's listening to his new salsa CD. AJ is a serious looking boy listening to his new salsa CD. We remove he is. We omit he is. So again the answer number five. AJ is a serious looking boy listening to his new salsa CD. B. Pair work. Complete these questions using the names of people in your class. Then take turns asking and answering the questions. Number one. Who's the man sitting next to? Who's the man sitting next to Ahmed? Answer. Who is the woman wearing a red scarf? Nagla is the woman wearing a red scarf. Who is Ibrahim or which one is? Who is Ibrahim? Ibrahim is the one standing next to the window. Which one is Ibrahim? Ibrahim is the one standing next to the window. Which one is Ibrahim? Ibrahim is the one standing next to the window. Who are the people sitting on the couch, sitting on the sofa? Who are the people sitting on the sofa or sitting on the couch? Ahmed and Ali are the people sitting on the couch. Who are the ones sitting on the couch? Ahmed and Ali are the ones sitting on the couch. They are sitting on the sofa. Sofa means couch. Exercise number 10. Pronunciation. Contrast stress in responses. Page 62. Exercise 10. Pronunciation. Contrastive stress in responses. Part A. Listen and practice. Notice how the stress changes to emphasize a contrast. Is Anthony the one wearing the red shirt? No, he's the one wearing the black shirt. Is Judy the woman on the couch? No, Diana is the woman on the couch. Listen again. Is Anthony the one wearing the red shirt? No, he's the one wearing the black shirt. Is Judy the woman on the couch? No, Diana is the woman on the couch. In page 6 to exercise 10, Contrastive stress and responses. In this exercise, we have stress. What stress? To make the sound higher, longer, and louder. Why? To emphasize a contrast. To confirm a contrast. What's a contrast? Opposite. I give you wrong information and you correct it. Example. Is Anson the one wearing the red shirt? No, he's the one wearing the black shirt. Black. Not red, but black. Red, black. So he's dressed on black. Black shirt. Is Judy the woman on the couch? No. Diana. Diana is the woman on the couch. Not Judy, but Diana. Not Judy, but Diana. Again, is Judy the woman on the couch? No, Diana is the woman on the couch. Diana, not Judy, but Diana. The red, no, the black, black, black shirt. So here is stress on black. Exercise 10, part B. Mark the stress changes in these conversations. Listen and check. Then practice the conversations. 
Is Brittany the one sitting next to Katie? No, she's the one standing next to Katie. Is Donald the one on the couch? No, he's the one behind the couch. Listen again. Conversations. Listen and check. Then practice the conversations. Is Brittany the one sitting next to Katie? No, she's the one standing next to Katie. Is Donald the one on the couch? No, he's the one behind the couch. It's the conversations. Is Brittany the one sitting next to Katie? No, she's the one standing next to Katie. Is Donald the one on the couch? No, he's the one behind the couch. So, in this exercise here, you see that. Is Brittany the one sitting next to Katie? No, she's the one standing. Standing next to Katie. So, not sitting, but standing. Not sitting, but standing. So, I give you a new information here. Opposite to the old one. This is contrast, contrast. Is Donald the one on the couch? No. He's the one behind the couch. Behind. Not on, but behind. Not on, but behind the couch. Exercise number 11. Reading. Dear Karen Pexy, Your style questions answered. Look at the pictures. What each? What is each an example of? Match the description with the pictures. A. Mixing gold and new. B. Mixing baggy and slim. C. Mixing colors and patterns. So, we see here in these pictures different styles, different styles. So, So this style is C, mixing colors and patterns. This is C. Second picture, this one. This is the style of A, mixing old and new. Mixing, mixing old and new. Mixing old fashion and new fashion. This style is B. Mixing baggy and slim. Baggy clothes and slim clothes. Baggy pants, white pants, big pants. And here slim. Slim, thin. All of your questions this week are about mixing and matching styles, patterns, and colors. Dear Ken and Pixie, I'm reading a lot about how to mix prints in the latest fashion magazines. What is prints? Prints, patterned fabric, not a solid color, not a solid color. But when I wear different prints together, I look silly. I look stupid. What's the trick? Tell me what is the solution? Mix it up. I'm confused. Now this is the signature. Now they're gonna answer here and tell her the advice about what is the best thing to wear? Dear Mixed Top, It's not difficult to wear different prints together. Find the similarity in each item of clothing you want to wear. Find the similarity. Similarity to be similar, the same. In each item, in each piece of clothing you want to wear. Mixed 
two or three items with the same background color. So you can mix two or three items, two or three pieces of clothing, two or three pieces of clothes with the same background color. Background. Part of design is not the main feature. Like white or another neutral color. Neutral col color was neutral. Neutral, not a strong. Neutral color, not a strong color. Without strong color. Mix a large print with a small one. Mix similar patterns like strips with plate. So you can here make similar patterns like strips, strips colors, colorful with plaid, plaid a pattern of different colors with straight lines crossing each other. But if you don't feel comfortable in it, don't wear it. So this is the trick. So what's a trick? Trick is a clever way to do something. Now let's go second picture. Dear Kenan Pixie, in college, in university, college, university. I wore Vantage. What's Vantage? Vantage high quality quality clothing from the past but still in style I wore vintage clothes but now I am 30 and need a modern look modern new a modern fashion a fashion of the present time how can I wear vintage styles without looking outdated outdated not in style, in old fashion, oldie but goodie. I wear, I want to wear old fashion, old clothes, but also good, good fashion. This is the signature. Now, what is the advice? Dear oldie but goodie, vintage clothing is always in, but Mix it with something new for a modern look. So here, what is the trick? What is the advice? You should mix. You should mix the high quality old fashioned with a new modern look. Wear a vintage shirt with pants. Pair an old belt with a new bag you should have you could have an old belt but with a new bag wear vintage shoes high quality shoes with new jeans old fashion of high quality shoes with new jeans but sometimes you need to alter the clothes you need to alter the clothes alter change for example Take a baggy vintage skirt and make it slim. Or cut the shoulder pads out of a vintage jacket. For example, you can take a baggy vintage skirt. You can, you can take a wide, loose, loose, high quality skirt and make it slim and make it thin and make it thin. Or cut the shoulder pads shoulder pads small pieces of a soft material that's put into the shoulder to improve its shape so cut the shoulder pads out of a vintage jacket this is the trick this is the advice Three, picture three, Dirkin and Pixie. I'm seeing both 
I'm seeing both baggy pants and skinny pants on the designer runways. So in the runway, like this one, she's seeing baggy pants. Baggy. Loose. Two big pants. Loose pants. And skinny pants. Skinny. Very thin. Very thin and slim pants on the design runway. Pants. Trousers. British, British trousers. Also, short pants and long pants. What's in style? So, confused, carry. Confused. Confused? A person who doesn't understand what is the best to choose. Dear confused, it's all in style for pants. Anything goes this year. The trick is the clever way is the best way is to wear something on top that's the opposite of the style of the pants. So here you have contrast. So the top is opposite to the pants. You have two different styles. So if you're wearing baggy pants, if you're wearing white pants, loose pants, try a slim shirt. Slim, thin. If slim pants are your thing, wear a baggy sweater. If you like to wear slim pants, thin pants, so you can wear a baggy sweater. Sweater, jumper. Baggy very wide, short pants, dry funky shoes. So if you if you're gonna wear short pants, you should try funky shoes. Funky, very modern. Wear long pants with your shirt tucked in and, and a belt. So you can wear long pants, long trousers, with your shirt tucked in. I mean tucked. Tucked in, having the bottom of a shirt inside the pants, having the bottom of a shirt inside the pants. A. Read the web page, find the words in italic, in italics in the text, then match each word with its meaning. So I have here different words and the meanings. One moment, try to answer. One. Neutral. Neutral. E. Without strong color. 2. Vantage. Vantage. D. From the past, but is still in use. Outdated. Outdated. A. Not in style. 4. Alter. Alter. Change. 5. Baggy. Loose fitting. 6. Skinny. Skinny. C. Slim. Again the answers. 1. E. 2. D. 3. A. 4. B. 5. F. 6. C. B. Pair work answers these questions. So these questions, any answer is correct. 1. Do you mix and match patterns and colors? What does your favorite outfit look like? 2. Do you have any vintage clothing? What time period is it from? 3. Do you wear clothes because they're fashionable or because they look good on you? Or both? Both? Together. Now that's the end of unit number 9, part 2. And now, let's have a vocab in this unit. Let's start. 7. 7, exercise 7. Classic. Always fashionable. Always, always L silent. Always fashionable. Cool. Fashionable at this time. Casual. Not formal. Casual. Not formal. 
funky, more than unusual, more than unusual. Button, button, T soft D, button. Slacks, slacks, a pair of loose trousers, a pair of loose trousers. A pair of loose trousers. Trousers? Pants. Here slacks pair of loose trousers. White pants. Cargo pants. Loose trousers with large pockets. Loose trousers with large pockets. O A in American. Cargo pants. White trousers that have big pockets. Strip tights, strip tights, G H silent, strip tights, a piece of sand stretching, stripped, have stripes on it, stripped, have stripes on it, dress shoes, formal shoes, sweater, jumper, sweater, T soft D. Between two vowels, sweater, jumper, played. Exercise eight. Couldn't make it. Couldn't make it. Wasn't able to come. Wasn't able to come. Eleven. Hip hop, a popular music in which the words are spoken rather than sung. So hip hop, popular music, famous music, famous music, common look, similar appearance, common look, similar appearance, hard style, hard style, a popular fashion, famous fashion, hard style, a popular fashion, backwards the usual direction, backwards the usual direction, opposite to, logos. Pictures or designs that companies use as samples, so I can say logos, pictures or designs that companies use as samples, like Adidas, for example. African American kids. African American kids, related to American children of African children. Detroit and Chicago, Detroit and Chicago, large cities in the USA. Big cities in the USA. Cities. T soft D. Thanks to, because of. So this one of O F of F S V. Teens, teenagers, performers, entertainers, urban, civilized, urban, civilized. Loose, not tight. Hiking boots. Trainers, hiking boots, hiking boots, trainers, baggy, loose, wide, very large, baggy, loose, wide, very large, trendy, fashionable, trendy, fashionable, popularity, popularity, fame, sensation, feelings, popular trend. General change in situation, situation, T sub D. Popular trend, general change in situation. Pride, feeling of importance. Pride, feeling of importance. Importance, American, British importance. Beat. Workbook Unit 9 6. Running Shoes 10. Guy Person Guy Person Classmate A friend in class Comrade in class Comrade in class Bus stop Backpack Backpack Asking about someone's appearance what does she look like? How old is she? How old is she? What color is her hair? 
How tall is she? That's the end of Unit 9 and thank you a lot.